UK YouTubers. This is Joe from Martanian TV. Another game of interplanetary ice spy going on here, and we're back to Pluto. Some new images have just come down this morning uh, from the New Horizons uh, mission. And what can I say? I'm still a bit gobsmacked. Some of these are awesome, really, really awesome images. And we've got some really nice close ups and some really cool ground detail. A lot more than we've had before. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of links here for you uh, that you can download these images. Obviously, you want, you're better off with the TIFF images. They're not huge. They're somewhere around, around two, three, or four meg each. Uh, some are quite small. So um, they're not going to blow your, uh, your hard drive up. There's this one, which is awesome, a close up. There's also this close up here, which is uh, not brilliant quality, but interesting. What I have done is I've taken a bit of time on this. Uh, I've been working on this half the night here, and I've downloaded all the, the latest images, including a couple of Sharon as well, which I'll probably do in another video very soon. Uh, but I've downloaded all the better, all the best quality ones I could get, all the TIFF images, and there's some very interesting details in here. Most of it looks completely natural, as you would expect. But, <laughs> uh, I, was, I started looking at one of these globe images, which is one of these, I think it was this one here, PIA19937, which is this one, uh, which is a really cool image. And obviously this has been compiled from photographs and stitched together. Uh, it's not one image of the surface. This is taken from multiple images, which have then been stitched together into a large globe or a planetary image, as far as I know. So I, this is probably a stitched together image, as, as I thought. And I, I, I was zooming in, having a look. There's some cool detail down here. You can see here where there's, the, yeah, you can see the stitch line here, where there's lower quality data at the bottom and then higher quality data above it. So this is obviously a, a compilation image. But I was looking up here and zoomed into here. Now this is up near the sort of uh, top left corner here, towards it anyway. And there's a rather odd structure here. Now this show, this actually showed up in, in some of the previous images of, of Pluto that I uh, published. But it wasn't very clear and the resolution wasn't very good. But, but fortunately this part of the image seems a bit pixelated, a bit more so than some of the stuff down here, because obviously it's further away. This looks much closer, because it is closer. Because it's a globe, it's not flat. <laughs> so not everything's in the same amount of focus because it's from a different distance. So this is what I was looking at. It doesn't look much now, but I thought that was a bit odd. It seems very, there's a very large rectangular structure here and you can see that in the raw image here. Now I appreciate this is pixelated and it's probably been processed. Uh, a couple of times by NASA and there may be image artifacts in here due to the processing but I took a clip of it anyway and enhanced it. Now this is just a very basic, I'll just draw around it there, selected it and then up the contrast and colour temperature a little bit and you can see what looks like a square structure. So then I went in a bit closer enhanced it some more up the contrast, sharpened it a little bit there, you can see it's starting to break up where I sharpened it there. Just a bit, you can see the image starting to break up. And it looks like a, a massive square structure. Now, I, pre I do appreciate this may be down to the processing and maybe something due to pixelation or the image quality, okay? But it does look like a square structure. So I thought, well, if it is a real square, uh, rectangular set of structures, then it should show up in one of the other images. So I went to one of the other images, which is here, uh, this one. Now, this is from this image. The same area is up here at the top. But unfortunately, the quality of this image is, is inferior. And when you go in, You've got a lot of this compression uh, 
stuff here. So this isn't a, a, an a original quality TIFF. This has been uh, downsized and, and compressed. So when you, I mean, you can, it's pretty obvious when you zoom in, you've got all these blocks and pixelation marks here, much like you get on the Mars images from the, the rover where they've downsized the images and compressed them. So a lot of this I do appreciate is down to image damage. But even so, if you look carefully, you can, you can actually make out a rectangular structure here. Now this is from above, different angle from that last shot I showed you. So this is the same spot, but from above, not from the side. Okay, and it does seem to be something here. Unfortunately, the image isn't, in, in, isn't great quality and uh, I, I zoomed in anyway and clipped it. Now this is the raw clip. All I've done here is enlarge it. But you can see, you can kind of see something here. There's a, it looks like a long straight structure here and here. And there's some interesting stuff. Now, I do appreciate this may be natural, but there's also something here that looks kind of rectangular as well, just here, which I haven't even properly looked at yet. Uh, so what I did, I went in a bit closer and enhanced it. Now, what I've done is to pushed up the contrast quite a lot here and added some brightness and sharpened it a little bit and blurred it a bit to try and get rid of some of this pixelation and image damage caused by compression. And there's something here. There does seem to be something here. It looks, there's, there's a long straight structure here and here and it goes up and there's some interesting stuff here. Now whether this is all natural, I don't know. I don't think it is all natural. Uh, I could be wrong. That's my opinion. Uh, and a lot of people criticise me for that, for saying I'm putting stuff in these images. I don't put anything in these images. These are these artefacts or, or shapes are in the images. Now, it's not my fault they're there. I'm merely showing you the images. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm not putting them there. If anyone's putting them there, it's NASA, not me. All, all I'm doing is enhancing the images to show you the detail. And there does seem to be some sort of large rectangular structure here, at least rectangular on this corner here. You can see a, a corner there and then another one there and then multiple structures here by the looks of it. Multiple structures. Uh, unfortunately the, the quality of this particular image is not as good as the others. Um, so I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, we get some more close-ups of this area and then we'll be able to determine whether this is actually a city structure or some kind of massive group of buildings or just a natural feature uh, but <laughs> the problem is when you get differing quality images like you've got here some of them are absolutely stunning and crystal clear and others aren't so I mean as an example uh, this one here which is one, probably my favorite one there's a large image of the surface here uh, this is the raw image this is awesome and there are, there are close-ups as well, which they've, they've done. But you can see loads of detail in here. Loads of it. And you don't have to do anything to it. This is crystal clear. This is a proper TIFF image. This hasn't been messed with. This is what the original picture should look like. High quality, lots of detail. Black and white, obviously. So... I went in and did some clips of this. Now there are there don't seem to be any intelligent structure, uh, structures in these larger images because we're too far away, uh, or they just may not be there in this particular area. But I, I did some enhancements and clips. Uh, let's go to this one, a close up, and uh, all I've done here is up the contrast a bit and sharpened it a bit. And there's some stunning detail in here. And I will have lots of nice long close-ups of these images at the end of the video for you to look at. And you can pause it and have a really good look. There is some great detail in here. These are absolutely brilliant images. And even on the horizon, you've got mountains up here, which are in pretty good detail. Uh, it, is, it is really quite stunning. Uh, I've been looking at these with my jaw hanging off down to the ground actually for the last few hours and, and I've just been clipping them and just adding a little bit of contrast and, a little, and, a, and a, the odd colour filter 
There is also this in, uh, image here, which is uh, interesting, but very blurry. I think there's a bit of um, uh, motion blur in here. So the structures in here are a bit out of focus or blurred. Uh, but the probe is probably traveling at you know, 30, 40,000 miles an hour, you know, so <laughs> that is excusable, you know, a bit of motion blur. But there was some interesting stuff in here, down here especially, in this bottom corner, and this looks quite rectangular or square, but that just may be natural. Uh, it's not completely square, it's not completely straight, so probably is natural. I'll show you the enhancement of that, I've done a quick clip of it, and it does look out of focus here. Uh, but yeah, there are some interesting things in here, and when you add a bit of warmth to the image, like I've done here, I've just added a, a, a very gentle colour filter, it almost looks like trees here, but I think these are actual dunes, large areas of dunes on the surface. Pluto does have an active volcanism, a uh, system of volcanoes, and is, is geologically active. And there's a lot of ice on the surface, a lot of frozen gas, uh, all sorts of material on the surface which looks interesting some of it seems to be flowing or was flowing like this area here uh, ice flows uh, in the past it may have been very much warmer and there may well have been life on it uh, I really do think that most of the bodies in our solar system at some point in the distant past may have had life on it, and some of them still may have life on them now uh, you know um, including Mars, Ceres, uh, possibly even Chiron, you know, we don't know. We haven't looked at them enough to determine either way yet. Um, this is speculation, of course, but there are intelligent structures on almost every planetary body that we visit. And when you get in close to some of these images, you, you start to see stuff. And there are mostly natural structures like we have here. Uh, let's get the sharpened one. There's the sharpened one of that. Let me show you that because I've I've actually gone in very carefully and sharpened this up to get as much detail out of it as possible. And there are some wonderful details in here. Really, really interesting. But most of it looks natural as you would expect. And even in the background here, you've got these mountains on the horizon. Awesome, just awesome. Absolutely stunning image. Okay, folks, I'll show you that building thing again, if it is a building. Now, I'm not saying for sure, because I do appreciate these images can be uh, difficult to interpret, especially when they've been over-processed or, or resized and, and compiled in such a way. But it does look like one from this distance, at least, and it may just be... JPEG artifacts, or not even these aren't even JPEGs. So <laughs> these are image artifacts that maybe I've sharpened up and may and just maybe look like that from this angle. But it does seem to me when you look at the overhead shot of this area that there is something there, and unfortunately the image quality of that particular area is not as good as some of the rest of these images. But there may well be some coming up soon in the next day or two, so I may come back and do an update. Let me show you that again. I'll put these in at the end anyway, so you can see them. I may do a bit more work on this. There, there's something here to, to the side of it, which I've missed. So I'll probably redo this. But there does seem to be something in here. And this, these may be massive, massive structures, which we, we can see in that previous image I showed you. Now this is obviously from above, and that one's from the side, so... It could be, it could be. Don't rule it out. Uh, in space exploration, ruling things out from b before you've even started is not the way forward. You've got to keep an open mind and never rule anything out because anything could be there. We really don't know. These are the first real close-up images of this planet that we've had, uh, or this X planet, I should say. So it's early days. Don't write anything off. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.